Iga Sriantek versus Madison Keys is the second quarterfinal for the Rome Open for 2024. And both ladies have had different roads to get to this stage. Keys into the tournament as the 18th seed, and we're gonna buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Osorio, and after dropping the second set, we we'll fight back to win. Six love, four six, six three. In this third round, she take on Hadad Maya, the 12th seed. And again, this was a battle. After splitting the first two sets, Keys would eventually win in three, six four, four six, six three. In the fourth round, she take on Kastea, the 28th seed, who had just taken out Von Drusova in the previous rounds. There's no problem for Keys getting through in straight. 6261 to advance to the quarterfinals. Shriontek entered the tournament as the number one seed, and we'll get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Pera. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6 love, 6 2. In the third round, she take on Putin Seva, who had beaten Trevison and Stevens along the way. And after going down in the second set, Shriontek would eventually come back to win 6 3, 6 4 to advance to the fourth round. In the fourth round, she take on Kerber, who had one of her best weeks in her comeback season. And after a close first set, Shriontek would get through in straights 7 5, 6 3 to advance to the quarterfinals. This two have played four times before with Shriontek leading 3 1 in the head-to-head, -head, including a match they played last time, or last week, a couple weeks ago now, in Madrid, in the semi-finals. Shriontek got the easy win there, but Keys did win a match a couple of years ago in Cincinnati, so there is some confidence still that Keys can take out of that, but the way it went last week in Madrid, Shriontek's got to be feeling pretty good. If Keys are going to win this one, she needs to try and defend a little more than she did in Madrid. In Madrid, she tried to hit winners all over the place, and when that didn't work, she had no second plan, so she's got to use a little bit more defense against Shriontek, because we know Shriontek can rally with the biggest hitters in the world, the Rabakinas and the Sabalenkas. So Keys has to be either clean on the ground or defensive a little bit more so that she can rally with Shriontek. Shriontek's going to win this one. She needs to just do what she did last week, get everything back, and eventually Keys will miss. That's what happened last week in Madrid. So if she can just get the ball back, slice it back, keep it deep, maybe Keys give her a lot of errors and also serve well as well because Shriontek did get broken a few times against Kerber. She's got to serve well if Keys is playing well. Interesting matchup. We just saw it a week ago. It wasn't super exciting. It was pretty one-sided, and I don't think it's going to change. I think Shriontek wins again in straight sets. It's a lot to see if Keys can change what happened last week, but the courts are slower, and Shriontek is probably really confident. Confident, and I'm going to go with her in straight sets. But let me know down in the comments below who's making the semis.